one live. Okay, we're here in Noblesville, Indiana at Always in Stitches, and I just discovered something. When you come into the store, you've got to look up. Look up! Because I just saw, like I don't get back into this area, it's for kids and stuff, but they've moved the garment sewing back here. They've got the novelty prints back here. But then I looked up and I saw all kinds of samples I'd not seen before. Like that one in the corner over there with the plaids. I think that is flannel. That is super gorgeous. I love that. I had not seen that before. I don't know how long that's been hanging there, but it's gorgeous. Love it. Number 62 right there. I love that. So when you come in, don't forget to look up, okay? Yeah, look at all the good stuff. Those pillows are so adorable. Man, those are cute. All of our stuffy animals. So anyway, I'm here to show you some new stuff. I know I was just uh, on Monday, but we're going into a holiday, so I'm not going to be here on Monday this next week. So Peter and I, we got some good stuff in. We wanted to share it with you. And Peter's super excited about this collection right here. Look at this yumminess. I mean, I can't hardly stand it. Look, we got jelly rolls. You know, this is National Jelly Roll uh, Day is going to be September 18th. So get prepared for that. If you need a jelly roll, come in and take advantage. Uh, we are going to be having, uh, I think, a, a, what is that called? A race, a jelly roll race on the 18th of September. That's a Saturday. So you'll want to come in and check that out. Uh, but this fabric is by... This lady right here, what's her name? Stacy. Hi, Stacy. Isn't she cute? Yeah. She's adorable. And this is her fabric called Jungle Paradise. And the reason Peter's so psyched about it, where's your sample, Peter? My sample's hanging over there. Oh, the sample's hanging in some place else. Well, we'll go see. No, it's hanging up on the wall. We'll go see it after a bit, okay? Before we leave. But anyway, we've got all kinds of uh, pre cuts. We've got the jelly rolls, we've got the fat quarters. And I'm going to put this stuff down. I'll show you what it is in a minute. But I want to show you this panel that goes with it. It's one of those books that you can either cut it and make it into a little quilt. Or you can cut it and make it into a book. And then it has these little puppets. Don't you think that that looks like a finger puppet right there? That little uh, monkey? Yeah, he's a finger puppet. Isn't he cute? You got that and you got the lion. Oh, so Let me get all cute. these. It's got the storybook here <clears throat> that you can cut out and make pages in a book. Isn't that adorable? I love it. I tell you, those Oh, books... look at the monkeys. Look at the little monkeys swinging. <laughs> I love you know, it. my favorite thing is, is when you're at church and you need to entertain the little ones, one of these soft books is the perfect Ooh. thing because it doesn't make any noise. Is that why it's a soft book? That's why it's a soft book. And fun to play with. It has little soft characters that go in the book. And so it's a fun thing to do to take to church. So come in, get your panel, get some fat quarters. It's going to be a fun time at the jungle. Jungle paradise. Isn't I just look at this leopard. Look at this fun leopard. Oh, that's cute. That make a cute project bag. Oh, that is so cute. Now, some other stuff that Peter brought to me. Did you know that Orophil is making uh, floss? I don't know if you knew that or not. It comes on these wooden spools. It's six strands. And um, we got in two, and they're already sold. But we can pre-order them. I mean, you can come in and order one, a set. This set, how did we do that, Peter, where we saw all the pieces? It just, it just came open. I don't know. Oh, you... Yeah, you opened it right you there. You have to open it like this. Perforated. I think we opened it wrong. You have to be smarter than the packaging. Look at all those. Aren't those pretty? Hey, look. Kind of goes along with this collection of, of fabrics right there. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? It needs some oranges but and some fuchsias. But that probably would be a second collection, wouldn't you say? Would be. Or you can do the cross-stitch of jungle jungle theme with that and then border it and make a pillow with those fabrics. With the fabrics. That would be fun and cute, wouldn't it? Then we got in this new Annie's Two Patterns uh, mini poppin' bags 
And I think the reason that they're popping is because they have these metal things that you put in them and it helps it stand up and stand open. Is that right? Uh-huh. Yeah. So it's a cute little cosmetic or sewing bag. Two stays included. They call these things stays because it stays open. Get it? Stays. <laughs> so I'm going to put that down. And then this is something new. Now, are you a planner, Peter? Do you, do you like, I know boys probably don't keep diaries, but they keep journals. Were you one of those kids in high school that kept a journal? So for work, I kept a journal, like not a, yes. Yes, yes, you did keep a journal. Yes. Okay. Um, and then with planners, I like to use them to record details about projects. Okay. I lost my mom seven years ago, and my oh. mom was a hand quilter. And she never used a rotary cutter. She didn't even know how to use a rotary cutter. She marked everything. She cut everything. She marked the quarter inch. Well, she got so good at the quarter inch, she didn't have to mark it in her later years. But she, when she began, she would mark the quarter inch. She'd sew by hand. Then she'd quilt it by hand. I mean, magnificent. I know my mom has made over 100 quilts in her lifetime. Do I have a record of any of them? No. You know, she gave them to friends. She did them for people. Oh. And I have no clue, oh. no clue whatsoever. No pictures, no documentation. Boy, would I have loved to have had something like that. So it's important, I think, to keep track of things like that. And this is a new Quilters Project Planner. This is more for planning out your projects as you go, but then it also serves as a good record of what you've done. And it shows the historical part of the quilting. I don't know why I'm looking up there. Those samples are distracting me. But anyway, it shows the historical process uh, because, you know, the process is so different today than it was when my mom began to sew, uh, there were no rotary cutters. There were no acrylic rulers like we have. There were only like new, I can remember her using newspaper templates that you would get that they were pre-printed in the newspaper. Wow. And that was the patterns. Wow. So anyway, so a s historical kind of a, of a presentation and, of course, there's some little history here at the beginning. But what it mainly is, is a place to document and plan out your projects. So here's project planning. Plan your projects. Ooh, grid paper for drawing. I love it. Block designs. I love grid paper. Look at that. And then there's tracking logs, so you can track how much time it takes you to do what. Like today, like yesterday, I was making half square triangles. I had to make 144, and I thought, boy, I should have timed myself to see how long it took me to make 144 half square triangles. That would have been a fun thing to know. Then here's uh, my contacts, people that uh, in the quilting industry, like you could put my name. Hey, I know Dawn, and here's her email, and here's her YouTube, and she works at Always in Stitches, and then the next one could be the shop name, and I mean, you know, you could keep track of people that are in the quilting industry, and then references, you know, all these measurements. I love that. I love that. Actually, I have this tacked up on my wall in front of my desk, in front of my sewing machine, and... <coughs> laminated in one of my uh, totes that I take along uh, to retreats with me. So, and it's just all kinds of good information on binding, backings, all kinds of good info. So this is a new thing that just came in. It's 1995 and it's by Stash Books and I think it's a really, really nice planner. And then we got in some new magazines. The Christmas Cross Stitch by Stony Creek is in. Pretty nice. 
And then the Christmas ornaments. This is the one everybody goes crazy for. This is for the every one. Year. This is the one. We we got a Halloween one this year. Did you see the Halloween one? I uh -huh. loved it. I haven't got to look through this one yet. And then here's the Halloween Just Cross Stitch magazine. This is not the ornament issue. This is the oh, regular I didn't see the issue. issue. Oh yeah, we got an or well, you were sick. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think yeah, I think we sold out before you before you got back. I was so, recuperating from my broken yes, arm. Yes, he's had a broken arm. So anyway, Better that's... Better than a broken heart. Oh, that's true. That's true. Peter's going to take you through the shop, and we're going to end up at the Civil War section. Ooh. Because Dawn's Civil War order came in, and I can't wait to show it to you. So... Go ahead and lead them on, Peter. All right. and I'll, I'm gonna I'll show them. The, I'm gonna show them the quilt. Okay. That uses yeah. oh, Jungle yeah. Paradise. Look at, yeah, look at that. Let's go look at the Jungle Paradise I quilt. I, I had out. so much fun making this quilt. The pattern is called Cinnamon Toast. It uses 10-inch squares. And and, that's a good size, Peter. Oh, it's a perfect size for a lap, baby, crib. Uh -huh. Yeah. And. It's very random on how you cut so it. So you don't have to match up seams. You don't have to match up seams. And you really, it's very liberating just to randomly cut apart the blocks. Wow. And then sew them back together. Wow. And I know some of you um, who I've shown or talked about the quilt were waiting for the fabric to come in. So the fabric's here so you can now get it. And the pattern's called Cinnamon Toast. And we have that as well. That is so nice. I forget where we're going next. Okay, let's go to Civil War. That's where oh, we're we going to talk about that music panel and the oh, kids. Oh, the music. That's right. What do we do with the cross stitch? Uh, we'll carry it back to Civil War with us. Well, I don't have it. I left it back there. Okay, I wanted to show everybody this because this is a this is a new panel we just got in. Let me come to this side. And the reason that this is so fun is because my husband just got a new baby grand piano. Oh, my gosh. The tuner came uh, Thursday. Of course, it's a two-step process when you move a piano. I, I, I didn't know this. But when you move a piano, it has to be tuned first, and then you play it for about a month and let it settle in to its surroundings and... Get a touch of the keys and, you know, whatever. And then I suppose it's like having chili and then putting some in the freezer. And then the next time you have it, it's even better. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I think it's something like that in the way of tuning the piano. So he's excited that he's got a baby grand. I don't know what he's going to do with his upright piano. He's got to think about that. He wants it to go to a family with children so that they can take piano lessons or something, you know. He wants it to go to some good family that really wants it because I think he's going to just give it away. He's like that, you know. Talk to me about that. Oh, really? Okay. Virginia Stephanie. Virginia has a family of foster, with foster kids oh, that she takes the house with. Oh, like she might would be doing that. Then we have these uh, kits, and what this is, is it's the panel, and then it's fabric. Oh, and they've got it sealed up, so I can't show you. But it's this fabric that coordinates. And we have a lot of people that love uh, music-themed uh, quilts. Yes. Because, uh, you know, there's a lot of people out there making music. Are you set? I think so. So, the panel, here's some fat quarters. Can't really see real good with that. Here's some loose fat quarters. So that's really fun. I really like that. Oh, one last line that's new is what? that striped um, down there, <laughs> all those colorful stripes on the bottom. Oh. Who's These are this new. By? These would make great backings and bindings. Win Wyndham? Yes, Wyndham. But they're just really Ooh. beautiful now, colors. See, if you cut this, you would want to cut it on the straight of grain because it's already swirled. If you cut this on the bias, it wouldn't swirl. No, Because it it's wouldn't. already swirled. I see that now. You see that? Yeah. Oh, look at that. You know what it kind of looks right. like? Men's ties. Oh, it does. <laughs> I love that. You could use it to make a tie quilt. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I, 
of these now. I have not seen these before either. Was that, did we not have this last time? Is this the lipstick cowgirl? Lipstick cowgirl? No. Everybody was, hold up oh the panel. Oh my goodness. Look at these. Hold up the panel. They're like license plates. Is that what these are? Yeah. Okay, hold up the panel. Oh, hold up one? the panel. What's that bolt? I haven't looked at that one yet. Okay. Oh, it's got horses. This is it. Wait, there's a guy on a horse. There's a guy on a horse. I need a half a yard of that. Okay. Here's a tomato. No, an apple. Apple on a horse. It's a no. Washington apple. Is he on a horse? He's got his, uh, what do you call those? Slap. Well, what do you call those? He's got a rope. He's going to be roping something yeah. later. What do you call those pants that they wear? Oh, chaps. Chaps. He's got his chaps on. Where's the panel? What panel? Oh, my God. This panel. Uh oh. So many people came in the other day get, buying it. It was posted <laughs> in the insiders group. Oh, it was? Uh-huh. Okay, check it out. Okay, now, be, this kind of looks racy, if you ask me. This would be something you'd put in your locker. No. At, at high school. No. Why? Everybody's got their clothes pin on, on. It's a pinup. They all got their clothes on. It's ladies with lipsticks and it's a pinup girl. There's ladies with guns. I know, but look at their short, short shorts. It's West just a crop top. Show. They're from the Wild West show, somebody said. Okay, oh, you're you talking know, about the two with the bathing suit. You know, we have to, we have <laughs> to have we have to have fabric for all kinds of Variety, and this would be one of those variety pieces. Well, I love these basics. <laughs> okay. Those dots. This splatter. Yes. And they're ombre. Yeah. Did you know they're ombre? Uh huh. Well, I can see they're ombre. Look. I didn't know they were ombre. Ombre means it goes from dark to light or from light to dark. It changes value within the same yardage. How about so that's those what ombre. Stripes? Yeah, I love these. Now you could really cut those on the bias, and it'd, it'd really be spectacular. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, Civil War. Okay, that's Civil War and the so uh, the music. Did you want me to walk in front of you, or do you want me to look at the back of your head? No, I don't want you looking at the back of my head. Keep going, keep going. Oh, you know something else we got in? What? We got in the housewives. Uh, uh, Chelsea's checks or somebody else's Priscilla's plaids. We're gonna show that next. We're gonna show Friday. that. Oh, we next are. Friday. Yeah. Oh, we are. Because it's not out yet. They're gonna create a special display for oh. it for us. Okay. Well, our Civil War. Remember, I said, help me grow the Civil War section. So this so is happened? all. So this is all. Let me get back here. Beautiful, beautiful basics. Every single color spectrum on the color wheel is represented and it goes here look at these funky cheddars Ooh, I love those for fall look at this acid green i'm telling you what we've got some shirtings this is a basic this is something if you love the civil war era you must absolutely have some of each one of these because this is what's going to tie your quilts together. This is what really <laughs> makes my heart sing, makes my heart sing. Remember when we were talking about music fabric? Well, uh -huh. <laughs> this is my music, is that fabric. music fabric. Oh, yes, I love this fabric. Love, love, love. Look, it's got a jelly roll. You could do a jelly roll race. Uh, oh, that would make a... Now that I can do. <clears throat> but think about a scrappy quilt. Right here's the scrappies. Right here. Look, you could take this. You could make the most beautiful scrappy quilt. Oh, I can hardly stand it. I mean, just the very basics of Civil War. Right there. And then, as you get a line, let's say, for instance, you know... You get a line of fabric, you get something. This is not Civil War. Like this is this is Civil War right here. You come over here and you go, oh yeah, look. Oh yeah, these go with that really good. And look, that olivey green or that olivey green. Oh, this olivey green. Oh, there it is, the perfect one. See, you start out with this and think it's perfect. No, you get to this one and it's just perfect. So see how this can be just your basics. Boy, if, if I could mortgage the house, which I might call my husband later today, I'd have to maybe get 
three yards of everything because it's just a must in my collection, definitely. I'm going to start out with a fat quarter bundle, though. Okay? Definitely. One of these is back on my desk as we speak. <laughs> oh, I love it, love it. People have children. Other people have pets. I have fabric. Awesome stuff, awesome stuff. Look at that. Wouldn't that be a whole quilt of that? Oh. In these fabrics. Oh, yum, yum. Can't hardly stand it. Okay, well, if we're not going to show the Chelsea checks and the uh, Priscilla plaids until next week, we're going to have tons of stuff next week because yeah, we're well, not going to be on. Stuff. We won't be open on Monday. No Monday. Okay. We're having a, a sample sale because it's National Sewing Month. September's National Sewing Month. And it's my birthday month. Oh. Ask me how old I'll be. 20. No! Come on, Peter. Realistically. 30. No. More. 40. No. More. 50. No. More. 52. 60. Two, I think. I'll oh, jeez. Is it 1958 is when I was born. Okay. So, you know, that's the way life goes. It just goes on. It's just a number. I'm feeling good about it. I'm feeling good about the shop and the direction it's going. Lenine is the best person to work for in the whole world. The staff here is fantastic. We have a great time every time we come in. We had a big old staff meeting today, and you would think, oh, staff meetings, you know, they're very boring. Ours are not boring. They're lots of fun, and uh, we enjoy each other's company. But uh, we are the, I got to say, we're we're one of the best shops around. You got to come and visit us, okay? All righty, I'll see you, and check all the new stuff out, and check out our Facebook page, okay? Bye-bye.